Let's create an interactive quiz using Google Forms. To do this, you have to use sections in Google Forms. If you're not familiar with sections, we'll cover them as we go along. The kind of quiz I'm setting up here is as follows. A student will be asked a question. If they get it right, they're going to go on to the next question. If they get it wrong, they're going to go to a little spot that gives a little tutorial. It could be a video or it could just be a text explanation. Then maybe it'll ask them another question, give them a second chance to do the question. After that, they won't have any more chances, at least as far as this quiz is designed. And this will continue on in sequence. I'm going to just do this with two questions so you see how it works, but you would just continue the sequence if you wanted to make it longer. To do this, we need to make two sections for each question. One for the question and one for the tutorial if they get it wrong. So let's get started. So I'm starting this in Google Forms, So, which means that because this is a brand new form, I need to go to my settings and make sure that this is getting the quiz settings necessary. I'm not going to bother with the other settings for now, but they are important to pay attention to if you're doing this for real. If you are doing this directly from the form feature in Google Classroom, you do not have to do the last step. So as I said before, we need to make a section for each question. And this is already the first section we can call that. So this will be section two. You can see that and three and four. This is good enough to start with. Now we're going to have our first question at the top here. So I'm going to label these accordingly. The next section is going to be the section that the student will get sent to if they get the first question wrong. So this will be question one, tutorial. Now, if they get it right, we're going to send them to question two. So this will be question two, and uh, this will be question two, tutorial. So let's add our first question. Now, I have mine copied on the clipboard, so I'm just going to put it in quickly. And this will be a quick little rectangle. Quiz. Just put the title in. So here is my first question. What is the perimeter of a rectangle with a width of 12 centimeters and a height of 7 centimeters? So I'll put some options. So uh, let's do 36, 38, 127, and 22. Just some random numbers. I'll go to my answer key and I'll select the correct answer. And so this is good. Now, down here, I'm going to create my tutorial. So what can I do in my tutorial? I'm going to uh, add my video into here. Now, I have to make sure I'm in my section. I'm going to go to my video, and I'm going to do perimeter of a rectangle. Get a little tutorial here. It doesn't have to be a video. But that's how I'm doing it for this. And for these, what I like to do is find the shortest one I can possibly find. Look, this one's two minutes long. So I'll put that in. Now, the student can watch this video, and it, which will explain the process to them. And now I'm going to ask them a question again. Give them a chance to answer it correctly. So I'll do some different options this time. Or you could ask them a different question. I'm asking the same one again, which probably isn't the best idea, but you can ask them a different question. So I've got a setup now, nice setup for my first question. And we'll just repeat this for our second question. So how do we make this work? Well, because this is a quiz, we need to uh, get our correct answers. So I'm going to designate the correct answer. Did that already. So I need to go to this kebab menu at the bottom of the screen, and I want to select go to section based on answer. Now, this is where we have to really pay attention here. Now, this will not happen unless you have sections. You can't do this with just questions. So what, that, what I want them to do is, if they get it right, I want them to jump to the other question. Otherwise, I just want them to go to the next section and get the tutorial. It's easier to set it up this way because there are more wrong rejoinders than correct rejoinders. So you can do it the opposite way of this, but I find this to be the quickest and easiest way. So if they get it right, I'm going to send them 
to section three, which is question two. Otherwise, they're going to have to take this tutorial and do the question again. So that's how this one's working, and this one's good. For this one, I just want them to go to the next section. So basically, I'm only giving them one. Let's fix this option. I'm only giving them one chance or one second chance to get this right. So let's go to the answer key and designate the correct answer. So if they get this right or wrong, they're going to be going to question two. So let's put in question two. I'll add my question. And for this, I'm doing the area of a rectangle. And I'll put in my rejoinders. Nothing new here. And I probably should have included the inches in all of these to make it correct, but you get the idea. So here is my second question. And again, I need to make my tutorial for my next question. So let's go to our next one. Let's add a video. So I'm going to add my video and I'll do a search for area of a rectangle. Uh, here's a three minute explanation on finding the area of a rectangle. That's good. And I'll ask them another question. This time I'll vary the question. And I'll make it uh, five by two. I'll put in the answers, designate the correct answer. Perfect. So now here is my quiz. Let's, let's check it and see how it's working. I, by the way, I didn't do my thing here with my question two. Let's see here. Answer key, the is 50. Okay, and now again, I have to make sure I send them to the correct section. So if because there are no because there are none left, all I have to do is submit form for this last one, because that'll be the last question. Otherwise, they, they will come here and watch the video, answer this question again, and this will be good. So let's test this. So I'm going to go here to my thing. Now, I'm going to deliberately be getting wrong answers so you can see how this works. So I'm going to go to uh, this and hit next. And it says I got it wrong. I can watch the video. Today, we're going to solve the area and and then I can get it correct and hit next. Now I've got my next question. And for this one, I am actually going to get it right and hit next. And you'll see that my form will submit. Now this concept can be used in a number of ways. It doesn't just have to be for quizzes. There are people who are actually writing stories in Google Forms and actually allowing the users based on a response to pick a different ending or a different direction of the story. There are lots and lots of different uses for this. So explore it. It's a great technique to have under your belt. And after you do it a couple times, it becomes very easy and a lot less cumbersome than it looks in this video.